Praise the Lord. Let's close your eyes in the presence of God. And tell Jesus, thank you for this big family in Wolverton. As we are gathered here to give the last respects to our sister and support to the family. Let's surrender our life. Let's let us take a decision. You and me have got only one life. Thank you, Jesus. When Lazarus died, Jesus cried. But Jesus told, wait. Let God's glory be manifested. Jesus waited for third day. Then he went to Lazarus' tomb and called Lazarus by name. And Lazarus came out. Passing away or death is not the end of the life. Your life and my life need to be for the glory of God. Tonight, let us take a decision. My life, your life need to be for the glory of God. One day, the Lord Jesus will call you by name. I'm going to read James chapter 4. James chapter 4, 7. But he gives more grace. Therefore he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, you double-minded. So book of James says, draw near to God. It is your responsibility, my responsibility, to draw near to God. Once you draw near to God, resist the devil. We have an enemy. God doesn't have an enemy. We have an enemy, which gives you bad thought, bad feelings, hatred, unforgiveness, all from the enemy. Bible says, draw near to God, and he will not draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, you're double-minded. So book of James says, talks to you and me, draw near to God. Drawing near to God is not by emotions. You and me take a decision to follow Jesus. There's no rules in kingdom of God. Church may be having rules because it's an organization. In kingdom of God, it's a relationship. Are you related to Jesus? In coming days, will Jesus call you from the grave? Hey, my son, my daughter, come up. Come up for the glory of God. Bible says, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Means, cancel all your selfies. You and me is nothing. We are made of clay. We are made of clay under in the hands of potter. He will mold you. He will guide you. He will protect you. That's God's responsibility. Responsible to God in heaven. That is Jesus Christ. Bible says, any person who believe in Jesus, any person who trusts in Jesus, only one God, God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. That's our hope. So let's close your eyes for tonight. Surrender all our previous life to Jesus. Call upon the blood of Jesus to cleanse you and me from all the